Welcome back, everybody. Still doing cleanup. These villagers are needing a lot more work than I thought they did. It's been a lot. I've spent quite a while wrangling and moving villagers into the church. And I finally, finally think I've got enough in the church that uh, they'll take care of those two sections I was looking at. And then I came through here and was cleaning out this because all I had are these two guys. So we are going to take them inside. I figured that would be the good spot for them. We'll keep them in here. I should be able to just bring them through here and then that will... I mean, there's really no, uh, no place for things to spawn around here. So I don't think they're really needed for protection. But we'll just uh, leave them in here anyhow. I uh, don't have any iron. I was going to uh, gonna, you know, doctor them up with some iron, but I don't have any. I got a lot of spruce. That's and all that spruce is from tearing down the uh, the city that was here. Got some bread here, buddy. You want some bread? I got some bread for you. Come on. Look, look. Why are you doing that? Get your bread. We picked up the bread. But I don't know why he's hopping around like a rabbit. I mean, the door's there. They can get in and out. It's crazy. So I just need to... Uh, do a little bit of landscaping down here. Get rid of this new. Uh, I've got plenty. Let's see if I get rid of this wood. Do I have a nice shulker I could put this wood into? Maybe I could put it in there. At least that takes care of some of it. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time cleaning up all this stuff. Because this is, this is really messy. Really messy. But I may actually be at a point where I can get all of this, you know, cleaned up. So it actually looks decent out here. Because I don't think I have much in these chests. These chests have been here since day one almost. Yeah, so get rid of this. And then I can get rid of all of this. I think all this is water now. No, there's there some dirt over here. But the good thing, it's got all these ice blocks. So all I gotta do is like break them and they make water. This is actually something I keep forgetting. If I need to lay a lot of water down anywhere, I should actually be gathering a bunch of ice blocks and then it makes it much easier because then I can just like go like this and, and there you go. Okay, let me get rid of this. Let's clean all this up. I've got another uh, entity moving project. What I need for my cathedral is one last piece. So I moved in those uh, villagers into those little choir or those little stands on either side of the pulpit. What I need now is I to get some zombies. So I'm going to get some zombies and they're going to actually go into the entrance. Because I have a, that's part of my design is when you come through the foyer or the, in, I guess it's the foyer, the entrance there. There's going to be lines of zombies on either side, kind of making it, kind of giving you zombie church vibes. I need to get rid of that too. I was using that to grow spruce trees to get spruce wood. Because I forgot, I had two chests full of spruce wood over there. That's kind of silly, but nothing new. So this front actually looks pretty good. Once I get rid of this dirt and stuff, this actually looks like a pretty good entrance here. Get rid of that dirt. And yeah, we're looking pretty good on this side. 
Look at the, oh, I was going to right here. Yeah, I need to convert that. That's going to be water. What the? Hey, hey, go away. I'm, I'm trying to talk here. What are you doing? You're interrupting me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give a tour. I'm trying to tell people what's going on. I'm filming here. we don't need to be interrupted. Oh, jeepers. This ice does not help because it knocks me back. There we go. Knocks me back every time I get hit. Yeah. Come on. I was trying to trying to do a presentation here. How rude. So all this needs to be uh, water. Or it's going to be ice, really. So. so we can just do this. Usually if I just break a bunch of this, it will feed its way down, all the way down the way. Like that. Oh! Oh, come on! All these interruptions. I'm filming people. How do real film do real film crews get interrupted like this? Or do they have like I must have bodyguards or security it chases people away. I should have kept those two golems. Be my security through here. And I will take that zombie flesh. Because I can use it to get emeralds. Now they've got a lot of those uh, clerics. I still haven't tried to see if I if they'll reset, I don't think they'll reset because I'm not going to give them a, they won't have a, a brew station. But So what was I, oh, I was saying, uh, I'm going to put a waterfall. So water will come through there and then magically disappear and then magically reappear right here. I'll kind of re rejig this so it's like a kind of little arch tunnel for the water to go through. It won't be as big as this one over here. This one over here is pretty big, so it's going to be a smaller, maybe a too high one. But then it looks like water is coming out of the hill. And I will put, I need, like even this one, I need to come through here and put some uh, campfires under here so it's smoky. You know, I, I've got some smoke in there, but I want, I should put a lot of steam right here where the hot water meets the cold water. And well, look at this, I got two more here. So we're going to go up here. And do a little bit of work on the cathedral again. Now that I've got my villagers all organized. If we take a quick look inside. So I did spend a lot of time breeding and moving villagers around. Luckily those baby villagers pop up really quick. So I moved a bunch of them in here. So I've got three on each level. Now I think these are nitwits. So they don't take a job. I'm not sure how you tell. There must be something on the belt or something. And then we have these clerics. I put the um, Bruce stand over here and converted all the ones I could. So, so like this one and these did not convert. So I assume they are unconvertible. Maybe that's what that thing means. I don't know. They do look like they're wearing like rags. Well, they're all kind of wear rags. So I have my uh, those guys there and these guys over here. So, and then, dang it, you again! See, I can't get him to convert to a cleric, but if I put one of these down, he always converts to a fisherman guy. I'm just going to leave him like that. Because he wasn't there like... So maybe these are not nitwits. And they just... Were being stubborn and don't want to get a job. Maybe they're just lazy. Lazy. Lazy villagers don't want to get a job. That's got to be it. Because I had... I put like four or five different brewing stations all around here. And as these guys picked up one, I traded with them. And then I could get rid of the brew station. They didn't disappear. But I swear this guy, I swear all three of these guys were this one and not this, you know, not that. And they wouldn't convert over. I had like 
four different brewing stands right around them. So they had plenty of opportunity. So I think they just didn't want a job. And this guy just didn't want to be a clerk. He wanted to be a fisherman. He just wants to fish around all day and do nothing. Uh, so I'm going to leave him like that. So I think more important is the fact that they are there. So we have our person, our priest up here, and then we got our priests in training or minor people or supporting cast over on either side. And then the congregation would sit, you know, all the congregation are going to sit here so they can pay attention. And then out here in this foyer, I'm calling it a foyer, I have, uh, we've got these stand, these uh, cauldrons set up, so I need to put water in those. Like that, or anything more. I think that's all of them. And then I am going to put into each one of these, we're going to put a zombie. So this is where I am going to really use a zombie. So I'm going to get zombies and put them in here. They shouldn't be able to jump out because they've got this. I don't think this counts as a jumping away point. And we would do the same over here. And we'll see if they run away or not. I've not tested it. So I don't know. But in order to make... Uh, in order to get zombies, I'm going to have to build the dark room. So I figured I'm going to build it way over here. Oh, no. That doesn't... That's not good. I'm also building the dark tunnel. That way I can run my uh, rail in there and not have to worry about uh, killing the zombies or whatever. I do have name tags. I can name tag the zombies once I get them over there. Now I may need to put a roof over this, so that's why I've uh, made it this high. Now, I'll probably have to move it at night unless I want to put a roof over the whole thing, which I really don't. So this is going to go out here. And then off of here, we'll have a, a zombie room. So I'm hoping the zombies will spawn on this platform once I get the walls. So I'm going to put walls around it and a nice top. And I did go through and get some uh, tinted glass because I had some amethyst in my boxes. So I decided, well, that is a perfect opportunity. I get the tinted glass and then I can actually see uh, what's going on. I'm probably going to get creepers and skeletons in here because I'm not, I don't, I'm not an expert on spawning monsters. I just know they'll spawn in a dark room. I know they'll spawn anywhere you don't put enough light if you don't want them to. So I'm probably going to have a hell of a time getting them to spawn here. I've got, ooh, I've got those guys over there. So I've got enemies everywhere. I don't. Want to have to run over and get them from over there. So I'm really hoping they will uh, show up here. Oh, I want, yeah, I, I mentioned it and I didn't even use it. I want to tinted glass. So this should allow me to see what the heck's going on in here without, um, without uh, ruining the spawn rate. I have my uh, F7. Oh, look at that. That's already spawnable. Now, I don't want... I don't want them to spawn up here. Because I want them all self-contained. Oh, let me go... Yeah, okay. I brought... I'm going like, let me go get my rail. I already have rail. So 
So we are going to do this. So this should zip the rail in, catch them, and then run through. And this rail should prevent them. They shouldn't be able to wander over the rail and get it get out. At least that's what I'm hoping. But this is dark enough that that will not mess up any of the lighting in here. Because like if I if I got rid of this, yep, everything is dark. So it's got all of this is spawnable except for looks like that. Oh, those okay. So those are spawnable. So all this is spawnable area. That's what you want. So now, if I get far enough away, like 20 blocks or something like that, I should be able to get them to spawn. Again, I'm hoping if I'm way over here, if I get over here, maybe get on top of this roof, I could watch. I think that, I, well, I don't know if that's going to be far enough away. If I get up there, I'm trying to think of a place I can stand, but still have a sight line, probably be up there, have a sight line to that spawner to see if there's anybody in there. Because I don't know how. Oh, you know, I could get tricky with this. I have this. What if I... Do I want to get that tricky? I was thinking put a pressure plate near and if they step on it, the little light would go off and then I would know there's somebody in there. But I think I'm just going to go way over here and hope for the best. Okay, so I've been standing over here for a while. I'm hoping that it's far enough away. So I'll get some spawnables. Hopefully, zombies, not too... Oh, I think I see a spider in there. Oh, I hear a zombie. <gasps> there's a zombie, and there's a spider. I just wish I knew an easy way to pick him up into a minecart. Because he's over in the corner. I don't like that. Oh, he's standing there. Maybe I could get lucky. We're going to shove this in here. See if it picks anything up. It's dark. I can't see anything, of course. Get in, the, get in the cart. Come on, man. Get in the cart. He's there. Huh. I'm not quite sure how to get him in the cart. I'm going to have to try. And if I put the cart there and go. How come the cart doesn't come back? That's weird. That's really weird. Go away. I'm working on something here. It's a good thing I don't have to worry about them killing me. Hmm. There we go. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, dang it. And I don't think you can heal a zombie, can you? No. Oh, maybe if I like a potion of weakness or something. Yes, I understand. That's why you're going to hit me. Luckily, I think if I can get him in there without damaging him too much, I should be okay. Because he's just going to stand over in the corner. So, let's grab a couple of these just in case. 
Come on, up, up, up. Ha ha. This may actually work. It's going to be interesting. Oh, interesting if it does. Kind of a harebrained. Hair, not harebrained, but. Just a wild, wild idea that I had. Okay, buddy. No, 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 get down. Oh, whew. That was close. I wonder why. Why did you take damage there? I may have to rethink my layout. But I think if I get... Can I pop that out? Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! That's stupid, stupid. Stupid little honey block. Okay, let's do... Put you get in there, put, push you down, get the honey honey block in there. Come on, what's the honey block? Honey block goes in there. You need to go. Come on, you need to get in here. Come on. I may have to get rid of you. Come on. So I think it's a good time to end the video right here. I'll be rounding up... Uh, this zombie and trying to get him back in place but i want to thank you all for watching hope you're having a great day and i will see you in the next episode hopefully we will get this finished bye bye